tell, I just woke up. It's pretty early in the day. Today we're gonna do a fitness vlog, but I'm feeling pretty fucking crusty. So I'm gonna hop in the shower and we're gonna get into it. <laughs> shower today's gonna be a fitness vlog where i kind of talk about my goals what i'm working towards i'm gonna give you guys an update on my routine thank you something like every few months i have to kind of realign myself with my fitness journey i'm not gonna lie sometimes you can get lost in the sauce without your fitness journey also your fitness journey is never gonna be linear sometimes there's going to be certain obstacles that get in the way you're gonna feel your best you're not gonna want to be consistent you're not gonna be as self-disciplined and also have a little surprise coming to you guys super soon something fitness related and if you're watching this on a Friday, I'll have a link in my description box. For usual, I'm gonna go ahead and do my skincare for the day, my makeup, get ready for the day, and then I will get back to you guys. Hey guys, my makeup is done. I just did my regular, regular, everyday makeup that I've shown you guys so many freaking times. Good morning, you guys. So I'm gonna go run some errands really quick, but I just got in my Skims cotton jersey t-shirt. I wanna do a first impressions for you guys because the amount of times that I have seen girls rave about this t-shirt online is crazy. And let me tell you right now, by first impressions, the stretch and the feel of this t-shirt. It already seems like it's gonna be a 10 out of 10 from me, but we gotta try it on first and see what the hype is about. Like I said, I'm gonna go run some errands, so I'm keeping my outfit super simple today. When I first saw this t-shirt, I was like, this t-shirt looks like it's gonna really snatch you, but then I started stretching the material and I was like, damn, this thing is really stretchy. You guys, the way I can seamlessly put that on without messing up my makeup, the crop on this t-shirt is so perfect and I'm sure you guys saw how much it stretched around the neck and it just bounces right back. You guys, this t-shirt is so soft and it hugs the body so nicely. Honestly, you guys, these definitely live up to the hype. They're so nice and breathable. This is such a staple. It's something you're going to reach for every single day. At least I know I am, girl, especially once I get all the colors. You can literally wear these anywhere to do anything. Dress it up, dress it down. If you guys want this t-shirt for yourself, make sure to check out the Skims cotton jersey t-shirt in the link in my description box. Definitely don't want to sleep on this one. I know you like the way I pop out. Let's go hit Lenny. I obviously changed. I put on a long sleeve, some joggers. Now we're gonna head to Costco because I need to restock on some fruit, some staples. I fucking
just got back. I'm gonna have some greens while we talk about my fitness goals. What's up, everybody? We like this setup. Is this something we like? I wanted to switch up my filming location, so currently in my living room. Water and chia seeds. Hey guys, so let's go ahead and talk about some fitness shit. You guys know I am a fitness girly at heart. I have been in the gym for years now. I have been documenting my fitness journey on YouTube for years now and i always like to keep you guys updated on what's happening what i'm working towards etc 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 first off let's talk goals i definitely do not think you need to have a goal when you enter your fitness journey but honestly you guys it's really good to have goals when you enter your fitness journey because you want to keep your fitness journey exciting you want to keep working towards something whether that's a new training style building more muscle building up your endurance it's always nice to have a goal when it comes to your fitness journey so that way it keeps it interesting and it keeps you engaged it keeps you more consistent it keeps you more self-disciplined because you're working towards something and it makes it more fun at the end of the day i think as long as you're working out and you're moving your body and you're focusing on your health and your wellness that's all that matters that's always better than nothing but goals definitely help when it comes to tracking your progress when it comes to making progress and it just gives you a reason to keep going let me give you guys an update on where i'm at talk about my goals a little bit talk about what i'm working towards and all of that good stuff i have not done like a fitness update video in about a year now and i figured it was about time to do another one let me catch you guys up a little bit of background three years ago i lost a little over 20 pounds due to getting sick and i ended up at 117 which i personally really did not like on myself i felt very unhealthy, I lost a lot of muscle mass, I felt very flat, just did not feel like the best version of me personally. So I really wanted to focus on gaining my weight back and getting back to 140. I am five foot five and I feel like for me, I look the best when I weigh somewhere between 135 and 140 ish i spent about a year focusing on gaining weight getting back on track focusing on my fitness routine upping my weight in the gym focusing on prs building my strength etc 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 only thing though is i'm not gonna lie sometimes when you are focusing on something for so long it can become very tiring boring and you kind of start to dread it and one thing about me is i never want to dread my fitness i never want to dread the gym of course i'm gonna have my ups and my downs at the end of the day this has been a part of my lifestyle for years and in order to maintain something like this in your lifestyle you need to adjust take breaks and just kind of realign yourself sometimes you just got to take a little step back okay it does not have to take this long but for me it took me almost a year to get from 117 to 140. once i hit 140 i decided you know what let me take a step back and let me just maintain for a little bit. So I ended up going back to maintenance and just kind of vibing it out, keeping up with my training and keeping up with my protein intake. And then once I'm ready, get back into it again because I knew that I was not done there. I still wanted to continue to build. I still wanted to continue to gain weight. So I kind of stayed at maintenance calories. I dropped back down to 135. And then from there on, I just kind of maintained that for a while up until this year. I noticed that my mental health was not the best. And personally for me, when my mental health kind of starts to not be the best i start to eat less i don't have an appetite i don't want to eat i eat less and in return i lose weight which sucks i ended up dropping down to like 130 the highest i was was 132 and i was at that weight for months up until ish months ago i decided to get back on my shit realign my goals focus on eating more focus on eating better and now i am back on my weight gain progress i am back on my weight gain journey and i am so excited to be back because i am feeling so much better internally physically i feel stronger and i'm just ready to just get my shit on and pop in again girl because it's time and it's almost the fall so i wanted to make sure that i was kind of getting back into my routine first before talking to you guys about anything. So I have been back on my shit these last two to three months and I am now at 145. Okay, girl, cut to the chase. What are you working towards? My goal for this fall slash winter is to get to 150 pounds. Honestly, you guys, I am so excited because 
I have never been a healthy 150 pounds. Um, the last time I was that weight was, and it was not the healthiest version of me. I do this shit for fun, but also girl, there are certain things that I'm working towards. I'm trying to grow my legs. I'm trying to grow my lower body, gain more muscle. I'm trying to hit PRs. I'm trying to build my strength. Getting to 150 is so exciting for me because I'm taking my physique to the next level. So I went from being in the low 130s to now being at 145 and five pounds away from hitting my goal of reaching 150. I do think I kind of need to get a little bit more strict with my routine and just be on top of my shit a little bit more. Let me talk to you guys about things that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be following a specific program that may or may not be dropping sometime soon. But with that being said, first and foremost, I want to start with nutrition, food, meals, etc. Because your nutrition plays such a big part in your results. Without proper eating, girl, say goodbye to the gains because there's no way you're losing, gaining nothing without having your nutrition. Semi on point. So I personally have been at a calorie surplus over these last few weeks. Personally, I'm going the slowly but surely route. So for me, I want to gain a pound every week and a half every two weeks because i have been in my fitness journey for so long i need to go through these bulks to see the changes that i want to see at the pace that i want to see them at going through little calorie surpluses and then going down to maintenance give me the physique that i ultimately want it gives me the energy that i need to take on my big lifts it gives me the energy that I need to build my strength. Bulks don't have to be so intense. I always like to do the lean bulking route. Personally, don't want to gain a lot of unnecessary fat. I want to build as much muscle as I can. So the way I go about my protein intake is I do one gram of protein per pound. Um, so because I am trying to get to 150, I am actually going to be consuming about 150 grams of protein more or less. You guys know my goal weight. You guys know my height, but I am not going to give you guys my macros, your macros are going to be personalized to you. So if you wanna find your macros, make sure to head to a macro calculator. To add to that, I actually do not track my calories to a T. Personally, I don't like to track everything to an absolute T. For me and my lifestyle, it's a little bit OD and I do not care to take it to that extent. But with that being said, I do know more or less what is in every single meal that I'm eating because I have been eating the same shit nonstop for a very long time. I always familiarize myself with nutrition labels. I always purposefully buy ingredients and groceries that have good macros. I'm definitely going to do a video of a week in my kitchen to show you guys meals that I'm eating. My priority is to focus less on processed foods, less on eating out and more on making simple home cooked meals with whole foods. I tend to already get puffy girl. I do not need to get extra puffy eating all this nonsense. I personally do not meal prep but I do think I'm going to start to prep a few little things here and there just to make sure that I have food prepped and on hand at all times. Because I have the ability to eat more calories doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna be eating McDonald's every day. You still have to be conscious of what you are intaking, what you are fueling your body with. My water intake has not been the best, so that's another thing that I'm going to be focusing on is making sure that I'm getting in at least a gallon of water a day. Let's talk about training. So, like I said, I'm going to be dropping a little something something that I personally will be following this fall. I will make sure to have a link in the description box with more details. I will be following that routine. Just so you know this fall so i always alternate my days so mondays will always be leg day then upper body then leg day then upper body then leg day two upper body days three lower body days i love to prioritize lower body like every other girl i'm trying to grow my legs I'm doing something a little bit different this time around i'm also going to keep up with my cardio this time in my previous books i never did cardio because i just really struggled to gain weight girls so i was like i should not be doing cardio especially intense cardio and i love to do more intense cardio this time around i am incorporating cardio into my routine two days of cardio i'm incorporating 20 30 minutes of cardio on my upper body days now and i always do that before my training sessions my favorite forms of cardio are sprinting running and stairs I do stairs when i feel like i'm a little bit sore and i want to do something a little bit more steady state I do alternate those depending on if i'm sore or if i'm not sore or what i'm feeling for that day let me tap in a little bit to prs girl because when i tell you the prs i've been hitting recently so a year ago i i said i wanted to prioritize building up my strength hitting prs getting back into barbell squats i think i was trying to get back into deadlifts as well at the time I don't remember exactly what my prs were at that time girl but when i tell you my weight has gone up. 
period. My barbell squat went up so much within this last year. I don't remember exactly what my PR was last year, but now I can do 245 for barbell squats for a few reps, which is fucking insane. And my current deadlift PR is 265 pounds. I am also so juiced about girl. I cannot believe that I am deadlifting 265. It's like nothing, but it's like, it's more than what I was doing last year. I just keep building my way up girl. And it is just so exciting. I'm going to try to build my way up to 265 for barbell squats. My deadlift PR is 265 and I would love to deadlift 285, but I'm also like, kind of spooked 285 is a lot of weight like just thinking about it makes me nervous but i know i can do it honestly you guys for me the strength aspect of this is just for fun I love bodybuilding and i love strength training so i kind of mix the both of those with certain lifts being strong really makes me feel good about myself it makes me feel more confident even though you don't have to have pr goals i do think having pr goals is pretty important because it can give you another goal to work towards that is not the way that you look physically. I found that when I started focusing and finding the fun in hitting PRs, I kind of started implementing progressive overload unintentionally because I was always focusing on pushing for more, pushing my limits. Ultimately, progressive overload is what is really going to transform your body. So if you are not implementing progressive overload, getting in more reps, building your way up with time with your lifts, I feel like you ultimately will become stagnant. So make sure that you are implementing progressive overload with your lifts so that way you can see the progress that you want to see, the strength that you want to see, the physique changes you want to see. Rest because resting is so important when it comes to seeing changes in your physique, when it comes to seeing results with your training, when it comes to really pushing yourself in the gym, you need rest, you need sleep. So making sure that I'm getting eight hours of sleep at the barest minimum, I cannot tell you how much my progress lacked back in the day because I was not resting. I was overly caffeinated. I was not sleeping enough. So prioritizing my rest, especially during this period of time, I think is going to be very important. Also, if I have to prioritize sleeping earlier, I obviously will. I'm gonna switch up my routine a little bit. Sleeping at the same time every night and waking up a little bit earlier in the days. Taking rest days are really important. I've been having trouble taking rest days because I just wanna be in the gym for some reason. Two rest days a week, one of those can be an active rest day. Especially when you are doing huge compound lifts, when you are lifting heavy, it really takes a toll on your body. I'm gonna start my night routines a little bit earlier so that way I can make sure I get into bed by a certain time. And Hello guys! So me and my orange glass are back. This jugo de guayaba is so good. I got it at Costco. If you can't tell, it is a little bit later in the day. Okay, I do want to talk to you guys about supplements. I'm going to do a disclaimer. You do not need supplements at all to see results in the gym, to see results within your physique. But I personally do like to take them. So I'm just going to share with you guys what has helped me throughout my fitness journey and give you guys a little bit of an updated supplement routine. First and foremost, let's talk about creatine. This is pure creatine monohydrate, and I'm sure you guys have heard or have seen creatine all over the internet. Creatine helps with performance in the gym. It helps with protein breakdown. It increases muscle gain. It can regulate your blood sugar. It has promising benefits for cognitive health. I know that creatine can seem a little bit intimidating, but it is one of the most well-researched supplements out there and anybody can benefit from taking creatine. People that work out, people that don't work out, there are so many positives to taking creatine. So what is creatine? Creatine is an organic compound formed of amino acids. Our bodies actually naturally synthesize creatine, but if you are a more active adult, incorporating creatine into your supplement routine can help with your performance in the gym and with muscle gain. The thing about a loading phase, I honestly think you just need to take it. You don't need to trip about like so precise with taking it at the same time every single day. I think as long as you take it, you are fine. You just have to be consistent with it. This is honestly the best one that I have tried just because no flavor, you can put it in anything. It doesn't taste like anything. It's pretty cheap compared to a lot of supplements and the benefits speak for themselves. So 10 out of 10 recommend creatine if you are looking to take your supplement routine to the next level. Now, OxyShred is one of the supplements that I have been taking the longest. 
So what is OxyShred? OxyShred is a clinically proven thermogenic fat burner. Speed metabolism, curve cravings, obviously gives you a boost of energy because it does have a little bit of caffeine in there. Have the non-stim, which has absolutely no caffeine. They have the regular, which has about 100 milligrams of caffeine, more or less. Also have the hardcore, obviously a little bit more intense. Take the regular one in the morning on an empty stomach, and then I wait 20 minutes before I eat anything. The peach mango flavor is my top favorite flavor at the moment. If you're gonna get a flavor, definitely try this one if it's in stock. We love this, this is a staple in my routine. L-carnitine. Aside from transporting free fatty acids, L-carnitine produces energy, helps improve your brain performance. Shown to decrease depression and stress, all of these supplements that I've shown you so far, I take together and I incorporate it in my pre-workout. I, like I said, try to keep up with my protein as best as possible because without protein, there is no gains. And sometimes you do need the help with getting your protein in, especially if you are trying to eat more and get in more protein or you're not used to eating as much protein. Having a protein powder helps. I always add my protein powder in my Greek yogurt bowls or sometimes I'll have just a scoop with milk or water. This is the Oxy Whey Daily Lee Whey Protein, flavor of vanilla ice cream, and I also really love strawberry milkshake. I have been taking these two consistently non-stop and they have been my go-to for these last few months slash almost a year now. And I find that the vanilla one just goes with everything like pancake mix, smoothies, putting it in your yogurt and your oatmeal and anything, and it blends so well with anything that you're making. Low calorie and they have 25 grams of protein, which will help you reach your protein intake at the end of the day, period. Starting my night routine, it is now 8.03. Time to go on a walk. Mm -hmm. 